Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Sydney Morris. I am the co-founder and co-CEO of Educators for Excellence and a former second and third grade teacher at a public school in the Bronx. For far too long, education policy has been created without a critical voice at the table, the voice of classroom teachers. Evan and I co-founded Educators for Excellence to change this dynamic by placing the voices of teachers at the forefront of the conversations that shape our classrooms and careers. Today, we are here to advocate for a rigorous and fair teacher evaluation system that is designed to support teachers, to help them grow and improve, and to ensure that they have the tools and skills they need to best serve their students. E4E New York teachers have been working on this issue for several years, and we have made significant progress. But recently, conversations about how to continue to improve teacher evaluations are once again stuck in political rhetoric. This must be resolved for the sake of retaining talented professionals already in our classrooms and in the interest of attracting the next generation of extraordinary leaders to teach in our schools. Teachers want nothing less than to do their very best for students every day and as professionals who wish to grow and develop throughout their practice as lifelong learners, E4E /E New York members are proposing a reasonable alternative for improving teacher evaluations. We are glad the governor has continued to focus on improving education and that he wants to improve the teacher evaluation system specifically but we have some differences in how to accomplish this. As proposed, the governor's plan would increase the importance of standardized test scores to make up 50% of a teacher's overall annual rating. The remainder would include 35% for an independent outside evaluator's observation and 15% for a principal observation. We believe strongly that student performance matters and measures of student learning should play a role in evaluation where meaningful. But we also know that the results of one test alone can't measure everything a teacher does or that a student learns over the course of a year and should not overwhelm other important measures of performance. We also believe that the principal is the leader in the building and their observations should have the largest weight in the evaluation system. Educators for Excellence members propose a multiple measure evaluation system in which 35% of the evaluation is based on growth measures from state test scores, 45% on principal observations, and 15% on peer or independent evaluators. These recommendations are the results of thousands of conversations with teachers around the city over the last several years on this critical issue. To give you the in-school, in-classroom, frontline perspective on why teachers propose this alternative option for the future of evaluations, we will hear from active classroom teachers and members of E4E New York to share their insight on this important issue. First, we will hear from Nick Lawrence, a social studies teacher at East Bronx Academy, and Suraj Gopal, a special education STEM teacher from Hudson High School of Learning Technologies, who will share ways evaluations have improved and can continue to improve if we move in the right direction. <laughs> 